My name is Joan Casey, and my uh, topic is uh, measures to mitigate. I am so concerned about the liabilities regarding this project. I want you to determine the liability at every step of this process. Number one, when the coal is still in the ground, who owns that coal? Is it Peabody Mine? Is it the taxpayers? And from the, when, when the coal leaves Powder River Basin on the train, is it Peabody? Is it GPT? Is it SSA? Is it Burlington Northern? Is it the financial backers at Goldman Sachs? Who owns the coal? Who, who is liable? <laughs> when the coal arrives at Cherry Point, who owns the coal? When it gets off the train and it goes on the earth, who's liable for that coal or for an accident at that point? When it gets from the earth onto the vessel and it's being transferred, who owns the coal? Who's liable at that particular moment? On the vessel, as it's going out to sea and it's in Puget Sound, and it's one of these catastrophic accidents that we're all so terrified about, who's liable? Is it the vessel or is it the owner of the coal? And who owns the coal? And once it's out at the sea, in the big ocean, and there's another accident, who owns the coal? Who's, who's responsible for mitigating and repairing all the potential damages that could happen from this coal? Who owns the coal, and where is the liability? Thank you.